There was this advertisement for something called the Infinity System, founded by a man called Jonas or Jonah Armstrong. Apparently, he came out of retirement from a software company he created to found this new trading, it's called a scheme. And what they do, the service that they provide, is that they have a done-for-you system where they have someone or some AI tool pass a prop trading firms, FTMOs in this case, they have them pass their assessments and their rigorous trading tests. They then give you, the purchaser of the account, the purchaser of the Infinity System, they give you that account for you to then use an AI trading bot or an algorithmic trading utility. These have been around for decades now. This is not something that's just risen up with ChatGPT or anything of that nature, but they give you algorithmic trading utility that then trades on a specific market using a specific strategy, enabling you, the purchaser of the Infinity System, to generate passive income, anywhere from low four figures to high five figures, all for a measly $2,500 in an investment. Seems like an interesting way to make a little bit of extra cash. And this loophole is using algorithmic trading bots in place of actual active trading, enabling you to essentially do nothing while the AI executes all of the trades. There are caveats for that as there needs to be some place for the AI to execute its logic and obviously it needs to have access to the account which it will be executing the trades with and will need access to the market upon which it will trade. All those things cost money, which explains the monthly charges that Infinity charges you, the Infinity system holder. The claim is that they have safe profits and their bot only trades on Tuesdays through Fridays during Chinese market hours. So basically you're investing in one of the Chinese stock markets and based upon the literature on their website. It's still not clear if the market is the Shanghai Stock Exchange, the Shenzhen Stock Exchange, the Beijing Stock Exchange. Maybe it's a stock market with less ethical and political questions such as the Hong Kong Stock Exchange or the Taiwan Stock Exchange. These questions have been left unanswered so far. Leaving aside the political question for just one moment, how can one expect to, you know, quote unquote, save profits from any of those stock exchanges? They seem like they would be ripe for volatility, given some of the issues that are popping up in China right now, all of which are outside the scope of this channel except to say that making money in China is a very dicey proposition.